to live at the Roxy. <laughs> That's me this week. Like this this is me. Here she is. The internet has finally broken her. She is me and I am her and holy shit. Uh, I I have not had a week that kicked my ass like this in so long for 5 bajillion trillion reasons. Number 1, the internet is so mean. Just in general, it's just a mean mean place. You guys are the best, but Wow, people were mean to me this week. And I'm a big girl, so what the fuck ever. But okay. Uh, number two, I had so much work and just like nonstop stream after stream after stream. Um, trying to figure my shit out. And also just like, it's so overwhelming this week. So this is just what it's going to be with this crazy ass look. And we have more and more streams going on today. Welcome to Live at the Roxy. I'm glad to have you guys here. I think we're gonna be painting today. I'm not quite sure. It's a whole thing. Um, and I'll explain why it's a whole thing. Also, I should send this uh, picture to here to see what I think I'm trying to create. Basically what happened was I was like, I wanna do arts and craft. And I told you guys that I had this, um, this, uh, painting bag. It literally was a bag under my bed for the last couple of years that my friend Will gave to me because he moved from Los Angeles and he was a painter or he was a painter by hobby. He was a teacher, but he like picked up this hobby of painting and he didn't want to throw all this stuff out because it's very expensive to get all these paints. So I took the bag and I never did anything with it. I used to paint when I was a kid, but I haven't painted in many, many years. So anyway, Will sent, gave me this bag. I did nothing with it. I put it under my bed. Like all of us do with those things that we think that one day we'll actually get to, but I haven't gotten to it. And so I started thinking about, I could be ordering like different stuff, but I want to use these paints. I love painting. I think it has a great energy and vibrance to it. I'm not great at it. I used to be okay. I'm probably, I'm very out of practice, so I'm not going to be very good at it, but who the fuck cares? So I was like, okay, what could I paint? So then I started thinking maybe I should paint something for Grammy and Popo. And I hope they're not listening to this because sometimes they do tune in. So it won't be as much of a surprise if they are listening to this episode. Although Grammy told me that she only listens to episodes that I have guests on because she likes those better. Uh, jokes on me, but I guess jokes on her. Jokes on both of us. Who knows who the joke's on? Joke definitely feels like it's on all of us this month. Anyway, uh, what happened was she said that she thinks that I talk too much when I'm bombed by myself. I don't know how I'm supposed to talk less, but there's that, I suppose. So um, I wanted to paint something for them. They're both camp, uh, they're both Leos, both my grandparents, Grammy and Papa are both Leos. So they collect a ton of lions. So I was like, okay, maybe I should do a lion. And then I found this paint by numbers kit online with this lion image. I didn't order the paint by numbers though, because I already have paint. So what I think I'm going to do is just try to, without the paint by numbers, paint that line image. Not today. Obviously this will take me several times to do it, but we're going to give it a shot. So I have all of these paint brushes. I'm probably gonna have to fill this with water at some point. I'll leave you guys for a second to do that. Here's a canvas. Um, and here is a bag of so many paints. Um, so we'll see what we can do on this stream today. But I think instead of starting by actually painting, I have to trace it out. So I have these um, pencils that I just went and got because I had no pencils. I only had pens and I want to make sure that there's some kind of tracing on there before I start drawing. And we're going to do our best to draw some kind of lion outline. So in the coming weeks on this show and the two streams a week that I don't have guests, we can be making this painting together to give to Grammy and Papo. So that is what today is about. But of course, while I'm painting, I'm here with you guys answering questions, talking to you guys, um, bitching about our weeks, feeling uplifted somehow, some way, and all of those great things. So thank you for being here. Don't forget to 
Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Like this video if you haven't already. If you could tell, I fucking need those likes this week just because I need the validation right now. She said it out loud. You can't hate on her for telling the truth. And leave a comment afterwards. That really helps when the video is done. I know you guys are very active in the live chat, but when the video is done, if you leave a comment, that is really helpful. I wanna get to some of these super chats and Streamlabs that have already come in on today's show. Thank you guys for being so freaking on top of it, starting with Morse Code Z, who says, missed the last few days live, but all caught up. Looking forward to Arts and Crafts Day at the Roxy. Woo woo! Thanks, Morse Code Z. Glad you are here. Uh, go back and catch up. Uh, I'm glad you did, but it's been a, it's been a week. It has been a week. Larry Lease with that, hit that like button. Thanks for pimping me out, Larry. Appreciate you, my dear. Need you in my life. Um, that Larry like. And Lewis Cox says, love you, Roxy. Just saw you on DC Movie News. Yep, I'm all over the place. Between DC Movie News and this, so DC Movie News ended, and then I had to go to CVS. Oh, my God. It's been a, a whirlwind. And then you have to, like, wash everything afterwards. And I did. It's been a... It's been a day. What a day. So thank you guys in the super chat. Let's talk about that Streamlabs. Um, I haven't even checked in to see if anything's going on in the Streamlabs. So let me check in over there. Again, that is streamlabs.com slash Roxy Stryer. I don't even have it pulled up on this screen right now. Oh, yes, I do. Look at Roxy. She's on top of her shit. So not true. What is the opposite of being on top of your shit because me that's me um well the internet on this computer doesn't work so there's that we'll look at that a little later I'm looking at the chat right now all prep for josh pretty tonight yes i am co-hosting a friend's josh pretty tonight with josh makuga and the people with josh makuga hosting it with me and the people who are competing are Sinead defries and mark ellis i'm very excited for that for that so don't forget to check out josh makuga's uh channel for that in a bit that's a whole fucking Wi-Fi thing. And I don't even have my phone over here to connect the Wi-Fi to that. I mean, come the fuck on, rocks. Can't you do this right? I will get to these Streamlabs, I swear, eventually. But while I'm pulling this up, why don't I unwrap this uh, canvas? Oh, here they go. Let's see. All right. A lot of stuff going on in here. Um, okay. The Beard Man. The Beard Man says... Today is the seventh anniversary of the passing of my mother. Oh, I'm so sorry. And for some reason, it's especially hard this year. Yeah, I know. Sometimes it goes, sometimes it's fucking harder than other years. I don't know what that is, but for me, it's the same way. Um, I think right now in quarantine, it's really hard for everybody because this is like such an isolating time and such a reflective time and such a frustrating time. So it just gives us a lot of other um, additional emotions. Um, but he says, the beard man says, uh, I don't know if it's because it's also my five year wedding anniversary, which she missed or because I'm awaiting the birth of my second child, neither of which she'll be able to meet her. Um, that's always so hard too. It's, it's like every great moment for me as well. Like every time there's an amazing moment, it's coupled with the fact that she can't be there. So I feel you on those. I think that those definitely are affecting it. But damn, I'm struggling today. I just wanted to speak into the void to someone who could possibly understand what it feels like. Oh, and thank you so much for being so open about how you handle your grief. Hashtag rockstar for life. The beard man, thank you so much for being here and sharing all that. Um, first of all, we haven't done this in a second, but bunnies for the beard man, for sure. Everybody send love. Um, send support for the beard man. It's so fucking hard to lose somebody and then to continue to live your life. And that's what we all have to do, but it's so fucking hard. So I, I hear you and I feel you and you're not into the void. I do understand some years are much, much harder than others. That just is the way that it is. And some days are much harder than others and you can't really brace for it. You can't really do anything about that except for, you know, the, the quote that I always here and say the only way out is through you're gonna get through just keep on pushing and uh thank you to all the bunnies that are being sent to matt the beard man 
Jake is sending bunnies and Jonathan sending bunnies and Rob K is sending bunnies and Morse code sending bunnies and Chris is sending bunnies and Gregory is sending bunnies uh, and Zeno hour is sending bunnies. So Matt, thank you for sharing with us. And we're all here supporting you friend. Thanks for uh, being open and vulnerable. It's a fucking tough time. It's a fucking tough time. All right, let's get to Glenn Caesar in the stream labs. Glenn Caesar, my dear, he says, Hello, Roxy. Happy Friday. Looking forward to seeing what you end up painting today. This should be a fun show. On a related note, did you see my Discord message about arts and crafts items I found? I think doing that stuff could be fun, too. I saw your message about the um, the uh, friendship bracelets and stuff on Amazon. I tried to set up an Amazon wish list, but I don't think it worked. I don't really get it. I got to look into this more guys. I'm so not tech savvy. I have to take my hair down. It's pissing me off what all these frilly things are doing. Like what is happening? And I'm an artist. Let it go. Let it go rocks guys. She's fucking losing it this week. Um, okay. Let's see. I'm pulling up the picture for me here of this lion that I'm going to be trying to make. It's going to be a little different. I'm going to make my own spin on it, mostly because it's not like I could do exactly what they did. Um, and also, uh, let's see. Oh, my God. And the other thing is we have all of these interns. I found my phone for, I told you guys, all these interns for um, After Buzz, which has been amazing, but they a lot to manage a ton of interns we've got like 18 of them this semester or something so <laughs> Woosa, meditation guys meditation all right um pulling up let's see i sent it to myself here and i already showed you guys what it looked like but as a refresher um this is what we're going for so we're just going to talk and hang while I push this back, angle this down, and work on tracing, not tracing, creating some kind of lion outline for this. Again, this is what we're, some kind of colorful lion thing for my grandparents, because I thought that, that would be kind of fun. Um, and we'll see how it goes. This is going to chop off my head because life chops off your head sometimes, especially if you're a queen. Am I right, queens? Am I right? By the way, when I was buying a pencil, I realized that it has been so fucking long since I bought a pencil. I don't know about you guys, but for me, I was literally like, wait. So I went to buy a pencil or a pack of pencils, I guess, starting with the nose, by the way. Why am I starting with the nose? No one knows. Um, when I went to buy a pack of pencils, uh, I was like, do I buy pencils that I have to sharpen? I don't have a sharpener. So do I buy these lead pencils? What was better, number five or number seven? Do I have to buy the lead? Like it literally has been so long since um, since I've bought a freaking pencil that I had, I didn't know how to even buy a pencil. Think about the last time you guys bought a pencil. Maybe it will make me feel better. Also, maybe it won't. Okay, so there's like the heart nose and then there's some like upward wings. It's gonna be a very loose sketch of what this should look like no oh boy guys pens i use pencil i rarely use yeah pens i use all the time um but i feel like if i'm trying to do this like this then i need to i need to uh make sure that i can erase shit even though it's all gonna get painted over anyway so yeah those are my thoughts let's see Katie Robinson. I live in Minneapolis. Oh, my neighborhood was looted hard. War zone. Can't figure out how to human right now. Your stream is a welcome moment of levity. I'll tell you what, Katie. I can't fucking figure out how to human right now either. And I think that the secret might be that really 
fucking none of us know how to human right now. That might be what this is. I think this all needs to be shifted lower. Oh, who would have guessed? A racer doesn't really race on canvas too well. Well, that is what it is. It will all be painted over. Roxy, this is not time to be a perfectionist. Um, that's fucking horrible. I'm so sorry to hear that, Bib. Uh, I know that you had talked to us a little bit about it before. But I don't, I don't even feel, I, I feel you. I don't even feel like a freaking human right now. I said that last night, actually, to Ben Bateman. Um, I said to him, I honestly today d like need to find a way to be reminded that I'm a human because I don't feel like one. Like the way that people are talking to, sorry to take your thing and make it about me, Katie, because it isn't about me. It's about you and what's going on with you is fucking horrible. Um, but the hopefully it helps the way that people relate and stuff. The The way that people are talking to me, like I'm not even a person on the internet right now. And like anybody who threatens anybody, I don't know if you guys have seen some of the stuff that's going on on Twitter that I am not responding to, whatever, but grown adults saying that they want to punch me in the face. It's like, what the fuck is wrong with people? Like, you can't do that. Like, I don't know. This is such a strange time. Unless you can, and I'm the one who's wrong. What the fuck do I really know? So, uh... Uh, everybody's saying stay safe, Katie. Yeah, Katie, keep updating us. I want to know what else is going on with you, babe. Um, and I'm so, so sorry that you're having to deal with any of this stuff right now. I'm trying to figure out a, a beard for a... Is that what it's called with a lion? It's like a beard. I'm just making little... <laughs> Yeah, we definitely aren't going to get to the actual painting of this today, but we will get to some drawing stuff. Um, stay safe, Katie. Who the hell is saying that to you, Roxy? Oh, my God. It's fucking internet. And thank you to my amazing mods and to all of you guys who have been paying attention and helping me and during this crazy, fucked up, bizarro time. I guess maybe we go for the eyes. So there's like... This thing here, and then there's one over here, and then there's this thing for the eyes. Okay, so how does the lion's eyes really work? There's like, it's like mostly eyeball. I mean, everybody's eyes, <laughs> mostly eyeball, but We'll see what we can do. It'll be much cooler when it can be painted. Because this is eyelid. And with all the colors, I think Grammy and Papa will like it. They, I don't know about your guys' grandparents. I find grandparents love colors. I mean, I guess some of them like a more neutral base. But my grandparents seem to really like colors. Which I really like about them. I usually wear all black, and anytime I wear colors, they always remind me, like, well, colors are so lovely. <laughs> Isn't it nice living life in color? And it's like, eh, I forget about colors. Also, it's harder to match colors. And who the fuck has time to do any of that stuff? Okay. Um... I don't know if this is going well. Let's check in over here with the Streamlabs, seeing what's going on. Um, okay, Weston Ira says, what are some of your top unintentional clapbacks in movies or TV? Two that come to mind are Bruce Lee Alley scene in LP Man 4, IP Man 4? And Ahsoka's line about Maul fighting Anakin in the Clone War finale. I don't know either of those things. You're talking about glad to see you and others idea on display. I have no idea what this is referring to. And I don't know what an unintentional clapback is. Sorry. Um, yeah, I have no idea what that means. What is an unintentional clapback? You guys tell me because I am 
a wee bit clueless when it comes to that. Glenn in here said, personally, I'd like to see you do one of the 3D coloring painting puzzle sets. Juicy Couture DIY bracelet kit and the Lego DC Batman. Yeah, I saw you send me those. Which ones did you like? I'll donate uh, Streamlabs for them. I have to look into it because I know, Glenn, you get to, because you're on the top tier, you get to do an episode per um, every month. So if you want to make that one of your episodes, then we'll do it. Because um, I don't know if any of them like particularly spoke to me, but that's okay. Is this I need to be lower maybe? I think maybe a little lower. Maybe we'll start with the ear. <laughs> Just doing one side. And then the main. Oh boy. Glenn says, yeah, Roxy, thanks again. These chilled out solo streams, we definitely need them to unwind and just mellow out. You're the bestest. Hashtag Rockstar's band. I certainly need them to uh, mellow out. If I had like multicam to show you guys. Um, but there will be all different. And then, hmm. Lion. Rawr. <laughs> what caused her to just do that? We will never fucking know. I don't think at least. Hmm. With the ear. It's got to be like an ear. Might end up looking kind of like a cat. Which is cool. I don't know what made me think I could fucking do this. Maybe overly ambitious. Always have been, always will be. Hmm. Okay, I'll show you guys where I'm at when I finish this other side of this part. Um, oh my God, the buzzing around. Okay, let's see what you guys are talking about in here. Um, Ahsoka, deaf is one of my faves. Everybody talks about Ahsoka and I feel so left out and silly. I can't believe I don't know Ahsoka. I mean, I obviously know of Ahsoka now, but I feel like it's crazy my lack of Ahsoka knowledge because I hear that she's like one of the great characters of all time. At this point, I feel like that's somebody I should be more aware of. But I guess I will when she comes to Mandalorian. That's what's happening, right? Or did I make that up? You guys tell me. Okay. Hmm. Goes dip, dodge, duck, dive. Y'all know what's up. You guys haven't seen anything yet, so rate how you think that you guys feel that I'm doing. I'll give you a hint. It's not great. Not very well so far. But hopefully it will be at some point. You definitely need to watch her in Clone Wars. Yeah, I know. That's what the people tell me. And by the people, I mean you guys. Um, let's see. The outline of the face goes here. And then there's a little more there. Let's see with some of this. Okay. And there's like a middle liony. Oh, they do have that little like fur patch in the middle of their eyes usually. Hmm. The outside here. And there's a lot of black in this too, which is interesting. For the main, that's what it's called, right? Uh, 
Adam, oh, that's so sweet. Hope everyone's doing well during these trying times. Make sure you take care of yourself uh, and those you care about. Yeah, I agree. It's a fucking hard time. It is a really fucking hard time. So it's challenging to do so, but I'm with you that we got to try as much as we can. Hmm. I wonder what this eye is going to look like. Let's check. Okay. Make a pocket there for you. It's almost like that. It's like that, y'all. It's like that, y'all. <laughs> um, okay. Let's see. Easily my favorite CW DC TV show. What is just binge Doom Patrol? I haven't seen a lot of Harley Quinn this season, which I feel kind of bad about, but I will get there. Just behind. I'm behind on so much TV because I have not been a person who gets to watch anything in so long. So long. Farewell. Wow, using an eraser on a canvas is really quite rough. But again, that's okay. She will paint over it all. And then... Do you guys also hear this fly in my place? It's driving me insane. But it's a real, okay, a live thing. So I feel bad swatting it, but you just can't seem to help yourself sometimes. Now we gotta figure out kind of the nose situation. Hmm. Yeah. All right. You guys want to see where we're at? <laughs> it's not going to make much sense, but at least you'll get to see a little bit of something. Can you see? Very light tracings of a lion face. Let's see. Can you see how that might turn into this? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, God. No, I didn't get the fly yet, Manny. I didn't fucking get the fly yet. <sighs> um, okay. And then we want to... Now we got to go in and really piece this out. Maybe it should be like we start with any of the black as an outline. Hmm. That could be a good idea. Should I get into the painting part? It's like I don't even know the order in which to do any of this stuff. Um, I did get a little newspaper stuff though to put under here in case I needed to do some painting of some sort. I think if we're only going to use black right now, maybe we just kind of go with one of these little brushes. There's so many that he left me, which is amazing because I don't have to buy them because who the fuck has the money? Um, I don't know. This one seems kind of nice. Maybe this one and this one for now. Who the fuck knows? We'll try it. Um, okay, so in my bag of paints, now i got to find a black. There's so many colors. I can't wait to show you guys, too. Um, so many very pretty colors. We're looking for black. This is lamp black. So I'm going to assume that that's a good thing. And then I'm going to take 
my triple A bill. I should get a paper plate to do this, but I'm not gonna. I'm gonna put the bill down and I'm gonna put the black right on top of it. <laughs> no need to rush if you don't wanna paint yet. We might as well get something down. Almost just got paint on me. Well, this doesn't feel like there's a lot of black in here. So we'll see how that goes. We have to make more black later. We can try. Let's start with this thin one. Like, let me pop over to the stream labs and see what's happening over there. Um, nothing, nothing is happening over there. Okay. So let's start with the nose. Feel like this is outline time. Wow. It does feel good to paint, I will say. It has been a while. And I certainly miss it. Um, I used to paint in school, in high school. In high school, I did mixed media and I did um what the fuck is it called? Um, ceramics, but like I used to throw things, make pottery in general. I was actually pretty freaking good at that. Um, and then I did at home and stuff, I would paint things. You know, my parents, I had the like most proud, incredible parents ever. They would like put my shit all around the house, like even the stuff that sucked. So stuff from when I was like a kid would be hanging up next to my dad's like amazing concert posters and stuff. Um, but some of my stuff was okay. Take that triple A. I know I still have to pay my triple A bill, but it's like right now, do I need triple A? Not really moving too much, driving too much, except I am driving when I go to my grandparents, and the last thing I would want right now is to be on my way to my grandparents and have an issue with my car and then get stuck, because what do you do right now during a pandemic? It's like, can anybody even really come rescue you? So definitely, actually, I should pay my AAA bill. Also, my sister's AAA is connected to mine because I pay for both of ours, so I don't want to screw her up by not... Paying. All right, you've convinced me. We'll do it, guys. Why the F not? Uh, solo Roxy shows are the best. I'm glad you like it. Uh, okay, so now we've done a little bit of this nose. Imagine if this was paint by numbers. It would be probably take me two hours. This is going to take us so fucking long. It's crazy. But that's what we signed up for. Well, that's what I signed up for. It's not exactly what you guys signed up for, but now you're here, so <laughs> you're welcome. Uh, okay. This is the space between the beard we're working on. A Disney Plus account. Um, oh, yeah. Who's been doing what on HBO Max? Talk to me, friends. Talk to me. I want to hear from you guys about your uh, HBO Max ways. I tried to get it via Amazon because that's how I watch HBO, but it, you can't. So that was incredibly frustrating. I wonder if anybody else had that same experience. Um, maybe not, though. Thanks, Roxy, for giving us any time. What do you mean? Duh. I love hanging out with you guys. It's my uh, sanctuary where I can go where people aren't dickheads. You guys are all just, like, so freaking amazing. And I feel like we all need that these days. place to go where you trust people and they're not going to be fucking mean and cruel. Which happens a lot these days, too often. Um, okay. That's the cool thing about paint, though, is that, like, you can always paint over something if you fuck it up. 
It's much more forgiving than a lot of other mediums, which I always really enjoyed because I need forgiveness quite often. Um, okay. Let's see. I might get it eventually, but I don't really need it right now. Jake, is that about HBO Max? My neck is fucking killing me. Why do we think that that's happening? Let me check in with the stream labs. Do do. Gingerbread. Oh God. Gingerbread said my grandmother died today and I won't be able to attend the fun. The, oh, the I won't be able to attend the funeral because of everything happening. It sucks when you don't know where to get, where to put your grief when you have so much of it. I hope all is well with you. Uh, sorry, I can't give more. I can't even believe you're giving it all right now. And I'm so fucking sorry to hear that. That's horrible. Um, God, that fucking sucks. I'm so sorry, gingerbread. I, I, right now, not being able to attend a funeral, it means it's so hard to find the closure that we all need. And I think that that's a really challenging reality of this situation that we all are facing right now. And I'm so, so sorry. You're not alone in that reality, though. And that doesn't make it any better. But maybe it makes you feel a little bit better to know that it's the whole freaking planet and world that's struggling with this. And you know, it's not like your grandma wouldn't understand that you're not able to make the funeral. And it's also not like the funeral is the only time that you can honor her. Um, you know, you spend your life honoring somebody and being there and hopefully, uh, hopefully that kind of, um, makes you feel a little bit better, but God, I'm really sorry to hear that. That's fucking awful. It's fucking awful. You guys in the chat, send bunnies, send love. I see you doing it already. Sending love. Oh, thank you guys for supporting our friend. And it's tough. Gingerbread, really sorry. Thinking of you and of your grandma and of all the people who are struggling during this fucking gut wrenching time. Um, Glenn says, LOL, sorry, nothing on that list particularly spoke to you, Roxy. No, it's not that it didn't speak to me. It's just like I'm painting a, a lion right now. <laughs> just figured I'd offer a possible alternative to you having set up an Amazon wish list if you weren't feeling like doing it. Also, someone on Facebook asked about getting an audio version of the show. Yeah, do you guys would you guys listen if I did this as a podcast instead? Would you want to hear that? Um, also, shout out to NFL Caleb22. Thank you for the support. I see you. Um, People have said that to me, that I should do an audio show, and I haven't set that up, but I think I can via, like, Anchor or something, or at least that's what I hear um, that I'm able to do. So, I don't know. Somebody let me know if that's the case. Um, but, yeah, definitely... Definitely, I would want to. Um, it's weird because of all these black spaces in here. Afterwards, I'm going to have to go over all these things so many times. Um, it would be nice to have that option. Okay. Chris, good to know. Good to know. I mean, for shows like this, it would be pretty funny to put this show up on that it's like maybe I should just do it when I have a guest because um <laughs> if it's just a lot of silence and like you're hearing me paint but you know to each their own maybe that's the maybe that's the move or not I prefer these YouTube streams podcasts would be cool too though I wouldn't mind an audio show, but you can do both. That would be my pick, SM Down says. Yeah, I think I can. I think I can do both. Um, let's see. How does one... Hmm. 
kind of strange. Maybe it's, I know I'm not really talking, but just trying to figure out this black outline situation. Because then also it's going to get painted right on through, I'm sure. Hmm. What are you painting? I am painting something similar to, let's pop back in, something similar to this. That's the, uh, the muse. Doubt I'm using that right, but that's what we're working on today. We'll see for how long and what ways, but that's what it is right now. Um, okay. So then we've got a little lower. We probably are going to want to do this situation. Huh. It's like a Hmm. Interesting. Again, I'll show you guys where I'm at in a little bit. But uh, it's hard to tell what is black and what is purple. But again, I'm making my own thing, so it doesn't matter. I keep reminding myself that Simba would be proud. That's the funniest comment. Thanks, Weston. Remember who you are. Morse code Z said, I checked HBO Max out. Free access. It was kind of hard to find. Movies that went together, but not possible. I haven't really done much else yet, though. Busy week for me. Feel ya. Um, thanks for that. Streamlabs. Jake Yacoveta in Streamlabs. Also, my boy Jake. You can do like we do with Call to Action where we just put the audio from our episode and put them on Anchor afterwards. That way there are video and audio options. Yeah, that's what I was thinking about doing. Um, but then would it change how I do the stream at all or would it not change anything about what I'm talking about? Because if it changes nothing, then I'm kind of down with it. Let's see. Hmm, why does this curve so much? We don't know, but it's a nice little thing to go off of, so we might as well try it. Hmm. Hmm, hmm. I see. Dead people. Why did that just come to me? Who the flying fuck knows? You guys know this is a strange ass time and we say strange ass things. You know what my least favorite part of painting always was? I'm sure any of you guys who paint too would say this. The fucking cleanup. Boy, does that suck a dick. Um... It's probably not the most PC way of me saying that, but, you know, it is what it is. I always thought that that sucked so bad. Hmm. These lines need to be a little more fluid, Rox. Uh, Asian coming to life. What does that mean? Sell it on Etsy. <laughs> no, it's for Grammy and Pop-Out. You don't want to sell things on Etsy that are for Grammy and Papo. It's not nice. Uh, this kind of cuts in here. And goes out here. So my theory is that if I just do everything kind of all the black stuff first, I can have fun filling in with the colors, just what we're going to be working on. But who knows if that's true. 
And then there's going to be this little white part here. Do you guys have any idea what I'm talking about? No, probably not. Which is fine by me, yo. Hmm. Guys, it's weird. But not too shabby either. When you hear not too shabby, who do you think of? I wonder if we have the same person. This is what I used to do with my friends. When you say a word and, and you both think of the same person when you say it, you go three, two, one, and then you say it at the same time and see if it's the same thing. So three, two, one, out of Sandler. Not too shabby. Who's with me? Anybody? Could not be. Could just be me. All right, let's see here. And after this part, I will check in with you guys. Showing you where we're at. I'm going to put my arm in paint. So on eBay, now that's a good idea. Oh my God, I haven't heard anything about eBay in quite some time. Um, maybe I'm just not paying attention to all the eBay stuff. What did you call Adam Sandler? What do you mean? What did I call him? I guess I called him not too shabby. I didn't call him anything. I love Adam Sandler. And I actually wrote a part for him in my one of my movies and it would be a dream like literally a dream come true if he could read it and see if he liked it i would die and go to heaven legitimately um wonder if i'm doing this right who the freak knows? How freaking cool would that be? I'm like obsessed with him. First of all, I'm Jewish, which you guys know. So he's like the Jew icon. Um, I feel like you can't be Jewish and not love Adam Sandler, which is probably the most stereotypical thing I've ever said or biggest generalization, but I feel like it's legit true. Prove me wrong, somebody who's Jewish. He's so good. Um, You guys are going to see this and be like, what the fuck is she, is this bitch doing? I'm going to be like, truth is, she doesn't know. But whatever it is, it's going to have to be good enough. Such is life. Kind of very low stakes project, actually, I guess, because like, who the fuck cares if, oh, that's why it doesn't make any sense here. Hmm. And then this goes there. Hmm. Okay, let me do a couple more things and then I'll show you guys where we're at. Couple more things. Um, Hmm. All right. Oh my God. We're almost out of here too. So similar to each other. Uh, 
Drew Barrymore and Roxy could be sisters. That's what I think. She's like my all-time dream queen. So it's my favorite compliment that I ever get. I'm like completely obsessed with her. And I love Adam Sandler. And I love that they love each other. It's like the freaking best. Drew is my person. And also we both talk out of the side of our mouth. So there is that. Or at least I sometimes do. Hmm. Let's see. <laughs> Down here at the bottom. Ah, I've blown it up too big. I never knew, like, when the canvas folds, what you do. Just paint down, kind of. You know what I'm talking about, people? When you're not flat on it. Water Boy, Happy Gilmore, 51st Dates, The Wedding Singer, great movies. Uh, literally, so many good ones. Click. So good. Nobody can claim otherwise. I don't understand. That movie is so freaking good. Um, maybe this goes like that. Hmm, it's going to be so freaking cool when there's all the colors in it, unless it's not. Mm -hmm. Is it black up there? Is that what I want to do? Okay, keeping you guys posted. Billy Madison, Big Daddy, great ones. Good call, y'all. Mm. Yeah, Fifty First Dates, I feel like, is an underrated movie for sure. Not that people don't like it, but just they forget about how good it is. And so many movies borrow from it. Well, it borrows from movies too, but if I could work with Adam Sandler, I would like die and go to heaven. Well, hopefully I wouldn't die, but I would be on cloud nine. Maybe that's a better expression. Let's check in with the Streamlabs. Streamlabs.com slash Roxy Stryer. It's, nope, nobody's in there. <laughs> that's okay. I'm just enjoying my time with you guys today anyway. Um, how's everybody doing, by the way? Still employed? Doing okay? Finances are fucking tough right now for a lot of people, as I know. Um. It's a very, very strange time too, especially to be half freelance, half not. If any of you guys are like me, it's they give you a lot of shit. I tried to apply from unemployment, but it did not work, which is so shitty. Um, still on furlough, says so Zachary. Ugh. Sorry, at least you got that health insurance, though, so it's one thing that you don't have to worry about. I know that that doesn't solve all the things, but at least it's one thing. Hmm. I'm, like, not, not painting where I made the lines at all, but sometimes you just got to make new lines based on your feel, right? wonder if that's true or if you should stick to what you made because you made it for a reason. I'm talking like I know jack shit about painting, which clearly I do because I'm making a fucking masterpiece. Still working from home, says Jake, but it's possible they might try to get us back in the office. Wow. 
Unemployment for right now. That might change. My sanity is here and there, Andrew. I think if you have your sanity at any point in time, then you're doing better than a lot of people because sanity right now is hard to fucking come by. I heard today on DC Movie News from Mike Kalinowski and Johnny LaQuasto that Universal, the theme park, is opening back up in Florida next week. My jaw almost hit the ground. What the fuck is that? Such a strange move. And strange is the wrong word, but like, I don't understand. Uh, I don't understand. Isn't that that TikTok? I don't understand. Don't understand. I, I truly don't, though. I don't get it. Um, it makes no fucking sense to me. How could people be back at how? How? How is that possible? I don't get it. This is like not a time to go to a theme park. You can't even see your friends. You can't even go to a coffee shop. We want everybody at a theme park. That Does anybody understand or does that make sense to anybody? Would anybody feel comfortable going to a theme park during this time? And I understand that we want the employees to make money, but we want them also to be safe. It's like so fucking crazy to me. Um, so on that side, it's going to be mostly purple. So over here, oh, there's this thing in the middle that is blackish. What's the name of that show? Did anybody ever watch blackish? I didn't watch. Huh. Wonder if I fucked that up. Guess we'll see when when we see. Um, okay, there. And then this is all black too, coming in on this side. It's like one of the sides is a lot more shadowy, so it has a lot more black. The other side doesn't have nearly as much, but I don't need to follow that necessarily, but I also don't need to not follow that necessarily. <laughs> Am I making sense to anybody? Um, let's see. I will for sure show you guys soon what is happening over here. Hmm. I don't understand. And there's got to be another piece here. Huh. Yeah, I gotta figure that out because I haven't yet. But maybe like that. Hmm. Let's see. You guys want to see where we are right now? Oh, shit. We're working through it. Can you kind of see a bit of a lion come to life? This is a paint by numbers. No, this is a see a painting, make a painting, or attempt at a, attempt at a something. Tempted or something is a good way to put it. Um, hmm. Okay. Anyway, uh, oh, well, we're past the time. So I am going to get out of here. Just checking in quickly to see if there's anything else I got to give a shout out to. Uh, Weston, I... 
Oh yeah, Glenn Caesar said, well, sort of stuff. Would you like to do on a solo stream or put on Amazon wish list? We can donate Streamlabs towards purchase. Also, any update on Zoom Hangout? Oh yeah, my Zoom Hangout for the twenty-five dollar plus patrons. So I need to. I need Jake. I need you to be on me about this. I need to put together a one of these this week for the twenty-five dollar plus patrons. Twenty-five dollar plus patrons to do a Zoom Hangout. Maybe I'll just do it in. I can't have enough people in. So I'll do it on Zoom. Um, and then we can all hang for a, a bit this week. I need schedules. So if you are a $25 plus patron, message me the best times for you. Um, but I, Jake, maybe you can help me with that. And yes, this week we got to do that. And for upcoming guests, we know we have Smets on this week. But I will. I am going to reach out to RB3 and to Clark. Robert Meyer Burnett, all great people, definitely. Jake says he'll hit me up about it later. Thank you, Jake. Weston Ira in here says, trying to do more for my ever-crap-tacular mental health, which unfortunately means saving more money. Anyway, I just got this headline from Newsweek 28 Days Later. It just became real after monkeys escaped from the lab with COVID-19 blood test samples. Oh, my God. The fuck does that even mean? What is happening there? Oh, Weston. Um, Glenn also says, anyhow, thanks for the show today. Love you a lot. Looking forward to seeing you and Josh pretty tonight. Also, congrats on finally getting your stimulus check. Thank you. I remember what I remember what it felt like waiting on mine. LOL. And yeah, I'm still sane. Yeah, Jesus with the sanity. All right, guys, we're gonna head out for the day. Um, but we'll keep working on this throughout the week. And I love you guys lots. And thank you for being here. Don't forget tomorrow we got Kevin Smets live at the Roxy at 1 p.m. And I'll give you guys updates on who is coming after that. Uh, you guys are the shit. And stay safe, stay sane, and I will talk to you soon to take us out. Lion, baby, lion. <laughs>